crossing the border from Guatemala into Belize. We checked into our hotel, set our things down, chilled for a very short amount of time, and then we went to the docks to get on the boat that was going to take us to Lemanai. And we were off down the river on like a 45 minute to an hour boat ride, after which we were going to have lunch and explore the site. <laughs> When I'm by myself, I like to knock them down. I mean, we saw some stucco at Yasha when we were eating lunch. Um, that was pre-classic. What you're seeing here are the stone armatures of a plaster uh, mat that would have decorated this platform with a corresponding one on the other side. They always do these things in pairs, right? And often you'll see them going up the the sides of a staircase. Here they're just restricted to the lower terrace. But some of the plaster, that's original plaster, is preserved. Probably won't be there for very long. <laughs> um, but those are the big ear spools of uh, probably wheat, a mountain um, face. Just looking up. After the Teotihuacan Entrada, you know, maybe this place had a little bit of a boom and trade and so forth. Mm. Yeah, it's good to see this because we didn't get a chance at Tikal to walk around the residential area. These are really nice examples of the fences. Where people would get off the ground and have their cloth laid out and could even sleep here. Right. So this is where they're grinding the, the maize. Before we had a rope, a yellow rope that went through the middle staircase. Oh. Mm -hmm. right, but it, they closed it back in 2013. Okay. Right, March 21st, 2013. A lady fell from the top. Oh, uh, the she equinox? Did die. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. She fell. Yeah, she fell. The howlers. These are so much nicer. These are. Cool. Uh huh. <laughs> the budget here is spent on such different things than I like. Or maybe there's more money. I don't know. All the landscaping out front and those stairs up from the pier. <laughs> and then we don't have, there's no, like Morgan was pointing out, there's no covers over the monuments and stella and altars that are just out in the elements. That is true. Take your Preservation is good. Yeah, <laughs> preservation or <laughs> danger for tourists. That does seem to be what it comes down to. <laughs> Get out of them. We're here too, it's fine. <laughs> oh, off to the left. There's the river. Oh, first gold butcher's gone. <laughs> Yeah, just Ooh, straight up. <laughs> literally. Oh, I made oh, a deal with six too, right? <laughs> going down is gonna be fun. Wow, the wind is gorgeous. Guess I'll sit too. We're really at the top now. I think like three of the howlers. Honestly. <laughs> Is there anything more glorious?
Yeah, there's stairs up on the sides to get up oh here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's okay. Ugh. Time to sit down these stairs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Three points of contact at all yeah. times. I feel more intimidated by this than I did a Cottonango. <laughs> yeah, I know. This just seems... This, you could, like, seriously fall down. <laughs> lightning. They come down from the sky, like lightning bolts. Boom. And they're just framing the ancestor with the power of heaven, you know. Um, it's all very abstract, but if you compare a whole bunch of examples from here and other sites, it all becomes very clear what you're doing. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just a portrait, maybe of someone who's buried here, or who knows. They found a total of nine burial chambers yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, all of nine of them, one of them was a female ruler that laid mm. over on that side. Okay. Mm, one female ruler. The boat ride from Lamanai back to our hotel was spent sipping on rum punch, but that's a secret, so don't tell anyone. Um, and contemplating the experience of the river and what it would be like to be a Maya person over like 1500 years ago, also coming down this river, what would I be thinking? How would life have been different? Uh, a lot to think about, food for thought, and also just leaning into the tilting of the boat along the curves of the river and feeling a part of something larger than myself.